guys, it's Vitz and Frana here. We are at Western Accessories. We are gonna do some shopping. Um, this coming weekend, we are doing Bronk of oh, Rotokopies. A big, big, big fishing trip is waiting to happen. So we are gonna do some big shit. Um, yeah, oh, let's yes. do some shopping. Just arrived, about to do some shopping, boys. Oh, oh yes. Okay, guys, we were not super successful at um, Western Accessories. Uh, the Tiger Nuts was super yeah, expensive. Super expensive and not enough. Not enough, yeah, yeah. They have the, the very big ones. So, yeah, we're moving to Ben's Corner now. Uh, we got a few things at Western. Um, so, yeah, we didn't leave empty handed. Yes, we just got like basically all the earthworms, <laughs> not for fishing, but you know, got like all the earthworms they possibly had. Yeah. Got so, some weights, got some, got some milliboom, some feed. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And pandemonium from Supercar, so let's, let's hope it brings the good. <laughs> oh nice, okay. So from here we're moving to Ben's Corner. Um, let's see if they can sort us out on the actual feeding mixes we need. And yeah, we just got two kgs of tiger nuts. So we are so happy guys, Ben's Corner prevailed. We got a wasling, so we are gonna oh, weigh yes. the bitches. Yeah. Oh, we can't wait, guys. Yes, this is going to be a fun weekend trip. So, prepping our tiger nuts for the session on Saturday, our Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Step one, buy all the, the ingredients, obviously. Step two, throw it in a bucket. Cool. <laughs> now, we need to add some water. Luckily, we have Fill up the bucket, not all the way. Just so that we can soak up the tiger nuts at least for 48 hours. Okay. Least 48 hours soaking. Nice. How much water do we need? Uh, just uh, about twice as much as you put in. Okay. So I just, you know, the actual nuts, okay? Yes, I would say that's about correct amount and now we can just basically cover it up and put it in the garage and hope for the best we have to re-spool the line guys so this is us for the next few minutes taking off 600 meters of line lovely <laughs> <laughs> so as we are pulling off this line we are realizing what the actual damage has done over the years it actually gets stuck sometimes as Frana is pulling it um, to like other pieces of line. That's like where the tension and the stuff was on it. What a cool thing to actually realize after a few years, it's actually very necessary to replace your lines, guys. Very yeah. necessary. Especially when you're fishing for big fish. Yeah. You don't want to lose that bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like this weekend, we are chasing big ones. So that is a hopefully... Hopefully what we are going to get is a few big ones. Here's the old backing line finishing now and there's it done. There's the, there's the knot. Oh, nice. So now we are on the backing line. <laughs> Another 300 meters to go. <laughs> <laughs> Just my take it to my like line. That's beautiful line, guys. Yo, that looks gorgeous. Okay, once guys, <clears throat> we are on our way to Rodeco Peace. Um, <clears throat> we have like 40 minutes left. Yeah, we just went over Harti. So, such an exciting drive. Yeah, such an exciting weekend waiting for us. Let's hope we have a big one. Uli is in the back. Oh, yes. <laughs> Frana is the driver guy to this, well, for this one. Yeah. We just arrived at Imanzini, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, guys. 
Uli and Frana on the boat. The engine is not working, <laughs> so they're rowing. <laughs> well, let's say the battery is flat. The engine works fine. Somebody just forgot to charge the battery. We won't say who. <laughs> Oh yes. Here we go. Oh, it's progress. <laughs> it keeps bending. Oh, you will. <laughs> Those are for the first two lines. We're planning on doing four. Four carp lines, six. <laughs> and from the darkness emerges two men. They were boys, now they are men. You can see that they have worked harder than they have ever worked in their entire lives to get those two sticks out. Oh yes. Oh yes, guys. It's a, a fight for Oh yes. The first fish of the trip, guys. We are brewing some steak, guys. Just look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I was in charge of getting the meat, so... We almost have two kgs. <laughs> it's actually 2.1. Okay, so we're breaching two kgs for three guys. Okay, nice. Yeah, shit, this is awesome. I love it. <laughs> this steak was actually sourced by, um, by me at Fresh House. I have a butcher friend there, Brian. Shout out to the guy. He is a wizard with spices. Um, he spiced these steaks with his spice mix. So it's the first time trying it. I am super, super, super excited, guys. He is a wizard, so yeah, I think it's gonna be good. <laughs> How was the steak, my guys? Like, oh my word. Thank Brian's you, Brian. is, is Brian's spice right? Yeah, you can do it again. All yeah. Right, dude. I was a magic wizard, bro. <laughs> Eating like a complete savage. Uh, it is hot, guys. Uli is the only guy that has caught a few fish. But it's bloody hot. Um, yeah. <laughs> we actually have rigged up. Uh, we have such luxury with the boat. Uli's boat and uh, trailing motor. It's such a lovely one. But yeah, it is. it is bloody hot. Like in scorching. Yo. I know fish are biting at the moment. <laughs> Yo. Hopefully we'll check back with the proper fish, guys. Look who joined us on the poles, guys. That is a beautiful little birdie. Let's hope he brings us some luck. Billy and Vitsi, we are on the boat. <laughs> we are actually heading to the trees. We are going to go try our luck there. Um, we haven't had much luck fishing from the side yet, um, but it has been very, very, very hot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to turn around the camera now and show you where we are heading. Awesome, guys. So we want to go towards those trees. I, th We think there should be some bass there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try our luck there. Let's hope for the best. We are at the tree, guys. We are casting, well, at the trees, um, nothing. We threw a few lines um, in between the trees and everything. So far, nothing is taking it. No nibbles, nothing. So yeah, guys, this is this is quite a, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, anyway, let's try again. Okay, guys. That is the battery. We think it's a little bit low. We, <laughs> we have been rowing, helping it. 
like properly yeah quite a fun one um we are still bloody far from camp but yeah we're doing it guys we are doing it um yeah fun times <laughs> we didn't catch anything at the trees by the way uli caught a proper fish guys just look at that because he fucking camera on us to go uli caught a proper fish guys what is that? 880. 880! <laughs> Hell yes. Bro, what a boss. What a boss, dude. Okay, guys, so I am making a proper, proper South African treat um, today. It is uh, actual. Yeah, Uli actually caught a fish. Yeah, Uli just caught a fish in the background. Dave is really busy with his bass <laughs> <laughs> and Vitsi is making dough dough basically and bread oh. yeah yeah dough tonight we are gonna make the super cost stuff rooster right, cook yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out super cost we're gonna use it now not for that <laughs> for the fishing <laughs> but yeah we are so excited this is actually my first time actually making dough i think i made it a little bit too watery but yeah um this is a learning experience so next time it'll be better but yeah this one would have been best for like a pot bread or something like that unfortunately we want to do it on the actual grid so yeah it might sag a little bit through but we'll make do guys we'll make do yeah um anyway guys this is our second night Uli has caught lovely amounts of bass. We haven't had any luck with the actual carp or other stuff. Okay, guys, this thing um, is done now. And it needs to be covered and go into like a warm spot for about an hour or more, preferably more. I am very, very, very excited. Um, yeah, it's my first time actually doing this from scratch. I've never done the actual dough. So yeah, <laughs> it's so awesome. So over here, got a nice critically balanced tiger nut, some IB corn. Oh yes. And over here, we've got a nice pineapple pop-up system going out. Oh yes, yeah. Front us re-rigging. We are gonna go out and try our luck again. Ik heb het 
Oh yes. Yes, 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 guys. We didn't lose the fish. Well done guys, so guys, you can't see me right now, but that's the first species That's the and first one guys After a hard long day, we're starting to get there Oh yes guys, that is a proper 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 little one <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yes guys okay. Frana landed it with me it was a proper team effort. Oh, I yes. am so chuffed. Prana and I always get him together. <laughs> oh, yes. Got him. Oh. Okay, guys. Night has fallen. It is proper, proper dark. We have a nice fire going. Tonight is the Roosterkoek and Vors. I am super, super, super excited for that. I can't wait. Um, what is that? Grit cake and borscht. <laughs> grit cake and sausage. <laughs> Direct translation. <laughs> we are all a little bit, still feeling a little bit hot after the, the long day. Um, but we actually have a couple of fish now, so it, it's properly worth it. Okay, guys. I want to show you the progress on the actual rooster cook. <laughs> you just pry it on the actual um, rooster. Yeah, it's so easy. Uh, I did make the actual um, dough a little bit runny. So that is the one thing I want to say. Make a little bit of a stiffer dough. But yeah, just look how lovely they look, guys. I have had a little taste so far and it actually tastes like bread. I am so happy. <laughs> Okay guys, it's our last day. Uli's holding the rod there on the bank. Frana and I are on the boat. I'm holding the the actual thing that we drop into the water. <laughs> the bait. Oh. Yeah, the bait. Oh yes. Let's hope we catch something. We have at least a nice barber. Uli has a nice big bass. So yeah, it's not a blank weekend at least. We still need something for Frana. Um, so if we can get something for him today, that'll be the absolute best, best, best. But yeah, guys, I'm going to show you a little bit of the dam. Just see what absolute beauty we are in. Oh, yes. There's Uli on the bank. Ah. We are on... The water guys, what a treat. Uli's trolling motor, Frana's operating it like a champ. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Let's get the bait out and let's see if we can get one. Yeah. Taking this one about 180, I think. Yeah, about 180. Don't chuck that for. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It's about to get us another line out. Let's see if it goes according to plan. Looks good. Oh yes. Hmm. Got it. What a boy key. Frana properly. <laughs> made a nest out of Uli's uh, bait caster. What a nest, a mess. A mess of a nest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There is like literally line everywhere. Oh, yeah. Get a bait caster, very say. Oh, yes. Luckily, this isn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Skipping, Papa. Because Dunet, when you get so bored at the dam, you start skipping rocks. Alia, where bounce? 
We had a blast, even though um, the fish was a little bit less than expected. Um, we actually still had a lot of fun. We chilled a lot. Yeah, we bride properly, ate big pieces of steak. Oh yes, guys, it was lovely. It was proper lovely. Let's just say a radical piece of stuff. It's hot. <sighs> it's very, very hot. It's very, very <laughs> hot. <laughs> Uli is in the back. The oh, poor yeah. guy is properly broken. We are all feeling the heat and oh, the yeah. long weekend. <laughs> But yeah, we are so glad you sticked around to the end. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time.